Have you ever felt overwhelmed by the massive computing power needed to fine tune AI models? What if I told you there is a groundbreaking method that slashes the computing down to almost nothing? Yes, with LoRa, you can fine tune your LLMs by using only 0.01% of the total weight. Crazy. How does it work? But yeah, how does it work and why is it so efficient? Let's dive in. The video is broken down into these four parts. Part 1. Traditional LLM Training Training an LLM starts with pre-training followed by fine-tuning. Pre-training is like going to school to learn a new language and fine-tuning is using your language skills to write a poem. In pre-training, we feed the model a vast dataset of billions of words spanning thousands of GBs. It learns language either by predicting the next word or filling in blanks, all done automatically. Following pre-training, the model undergoes fine-tuning with a specific labeled dataset to master a particular task. For instance, GPT models are pre-trained whereas ChatGPT is a fine-tuned version designed for chatting. Part 2. Traditional fine-tuning example For this part, let's take a small network consisting of 12 weights and 4 biases. If it's trained to predict the next word, it becomes a pre-trained network, with pre-training altering every value in its weight matrix. When fine-tuned, Say, to tackle math queries, the network is retrained. Do you think fine-tuning changes all the 16 elements? Yup, it results in an updated weight matrix. This fine-tuning equips the model with the ability to handle mathematical questions. How about large models? Do you know how many such numbers need to be updated? Billions and billions. Yes. 175 billion to be precise for GPT 3.5. It is really expensive in both memory and resources. To solve it, why not fine tune on a small set? People did try and came up with solutions like adapter tuning and prefix tuning. Sadly, it had either scaling, optimization, or latency issues, mostly due to its sequential nature. On to part 3. Let's welcome LoRa. Low rank adaptation. Welcome, welcome to for fine tuning. Instead of changing the pre trained model weights, it tracks the changes of these weights by introducing a low rank adaptation matrix. The word rank is of utmost importance here. Think of Excel columns. To understand it, let's imagine an Excel sheet with three columns A, B, and C. If column C is just a mix or linear combination of A and B, Keeping all three is like cluttering your space with duplicates. Why not just keep A and B and combine to get C whenever needed? So, even with three columns visible, effectively you only need two. That's the rank of the sheet. Similarly, Facebook researchers proved that the matrices of large language models are intrinsically of low dimension. And larger the model, larger is the gap between these dimensions. Imagine WPT as the initial setup of our pre-trained state and WFT as its upgraded fine-tuned version matrices. Instead of making big changes to get from WPT to WFT, we use two lower rank matrices A and B, the product of which will act as the addition to my pre-trained matrix. Hence, generating a fine-tuned matrix. Yep, that's LoRa. Part 4. LoRa Technicals Going back to the example where we had to find 16 new weights for fine-tuning. Now with LoRa, I can break this matrix down into two rank 1 matrices of just 4 elements each. That's already 50% of the weights gone. Wow. To get a full fine-tuning performance, can you guess which rank should I scale it to? Scaling up to rank 2 here is equivalent to full parameter fine-tuning. LoRa gives you this flexibility of controlling the number of weights to train. However, researchers found that rank didn't affect the performance enough. That's so cool. And it validates the intrinsic low dimension theory. Great. Now you are a certified LoRa expert. But what about hyperparameters? The final update equation has alpha, a critical hyperparameter which is set to the smallest rank you start the training with. It helps in normalization for big rank values and is also similar to the learning rate in an gradient update equation. 
a sneak peek on implementation of Flora. It can be done using Hugging Face PEFT library. Just a few lines of code. So you can also pick either TensorFlow or PyTorch. And it will work seamlessly for both. Links in description. That's LoRa. It has other forms like Loha, Loka, Adalora, and quantized versions of each. I leave it up to you to explore. Keep watching Bias vs. Variance for AI in depth. See you for the next one.